Hi, here's a short demo of our v, uh, VT270 V-Twin. Uh, I'll just show you some of the basic components of the tool. Up top you can see here we have our micrometer where you can set your depth of cut. Here is where you uh, turn the mic up and down which in turn moves the uh, blade up and down. This knob here is very important. This changes the direction of the blade 90 degrees. So when the blade is facing this way, I'm not sure if you can see that there, but the blade is perpendicular to the cable, which lets you do a 90 degree uh, cut or a ring cut around the cable. If you turn the blade sideways, then you can pull the cable out in this direction. So an important tip to remember is whichever direction this lever is facing, that's the direction you either turn or pull the tool. So basically what you do here, you turn this knob in the back, which enables you to pull the vise uh, up and down or the, the cutting head so you can set the size of cable. So I'll take a piece of cable here and uh, what you want to do is to set the depth of cut you can either spin the mic here which uh, has uh, gradients in five thousandths or what I like to do is uh, turn the blade sideways um, to the tool like you're getting ready to do a, uh, a ring cut what that does for you, you can set your depth of cut just by looking at the blade. So what you do here, you turn this knob on top of the V-twin, which raises and lowers the blade. So right now what I'm going to do is put the cable up next to the blade there. and I'm simply going to go up and down. You can see how the blade is going up and now it's going down. So we eyeball that. When I get the setting that I like, I'm going to push this button here. I'm going to spin the micrometer wheel up so it's locked up against the lever here. So that locks in my depth of cut. And once that's locked, once you set the depth of cut, you no longer need to change your depth of cut. So what we're going to do is put the cable in. Another feature of the tool, it has a uh, spring-loaded uh, blade uh, adjustment here where what it'll do if the cable's out of round, it'll pick it up. So what you want to do when you put the tool onto the cable. Let's push down a little bit so you can press that spring. So all you do is you simply uh, make sure the cable is insecure, which would be in square to the bottom of the V. You simply uh, rotate around probably two or three times. This cable is pretty easy to do. Now what you're going to do is back this top knob out, pull the blade up, then turn it 90 degrees. Then by turning this knob back down again, you're pushing the cable in, but this time you're ready to do pull the cable straight out. Now this is a short length here, but what I'm going to do is you would use this ring and this top as a pulling mechanism, but since I'm just doing such a short length, I'm just going to pull out by hand here. Just pull straight out. You can see how quickly and easily it makes a cut. That was just the outer jacket. So you can see here, I just took the black jacket off. A lot of times you'll need to use dikes to uh, pull the cable off. Um, so what you'll do, just grab there, and just pull off just like that. So let me do another cut again just to show you how easy that is to do. Put the cable back in here. So you're going to push down to compress that. Remember that your direction you're going to turn the cable is the direction this lever is in excuse me, turn the tool. Just clamp that down securely. Do a couple of times around. Unscrew this knob. Pull up, turn 90 degrees. Push back down. Like so. So that you're, you're in and the lever is uh, facing the direction you're going to pull the, the tool in. So I'm simply going to pull straight out like so. You can pull right off. Grab your pliers. Just flip that jacket right off. You have a nice, clean, smooth cut. And the obvious advantage of the tool is that it's safe. It's an enclosed knife blade. You're not going to use a utility knife where you can slip and cut yourself. So it's a much uh, safer tool to use. And once your depth of cut is set, you can simply keep making uh, continuous cuts as long as your depth is set correctly it's a very fast and repeatable tool